We trying to get paid. Making money, making money, uh, making, making dollar, dollar. We trying to get y'all. paid. Making money, making money, making yeah. save and invest. Stacking up checks, let's go. What's going on everyone? Sal here back again with another video at the crib. Really wanted to talk about the incredible opportunity that I gave you on February the 3rd, which was to make $1,300 on less than $6,000 worth of risk. Now you didn't have to take the size uh, of the trade that I suggested. I actually take a lot more than that. But the idea is that we're doing what a lot of institutions, family houses, and other large financial firms do, which is let price come to them. Jim, a lot of the time you talk about how you buy and sell options. And I know, uh, you know, for me, I have two problems with options as an investor. One is there's this implicit leverage there. And I sort of feel like if you you know the right stocks, don't use leverage. You don't need to use leverage. Mm -hmm. The other problem that I have with it is, you know, the, the real way to play options is to assume volatility or pre- the premiums being mispriced somehow right. and you're taking advantage of that but so tell me well I only used options as stock replacement uh, but then I you're paying would, that premium though no because I would buy the uh, second strike down okay so I would get pretty much a second strike down four months away that way I could sell out of the monies if I wanted to on a ratio basis and we understand that over time options expire worthless Now in that trade, I had saw that on the weekly time frame, the SBX was getting a little bit uh, overbought. And my idea was that I was going to put a cap on where I thought the run was going. Now, if you read books on technical analysis, you'll quickly realize that when you want to make a trade on the short side the best way to do that is to short into strength not to wait for the trend to show weakness then short many guys like to see a breakdown of the underlying and then use that uh, previous top as where their you know hopefully resistance will then begin to develop No, where you want to do, what you want to do rather, is you actually want to, you know, get good at identifying where the top is and jump into that. And then once that breakdown happens, you know, you are able to then benefit by, you know, getting in early, right? And not having to, you know, chase for shorts or chase for great entries because you were able to time that top. So I was a little bit early on that February 3rd pick because if you actually look at the chart, you know, we actually got tested a little bit, but price eventually broke down uh, as all rallies do eventually uh, break down. So it was really good trade, uh, you know, and it was real for me uh, confirmation that I know what I'm doing and I'm bringing you guys great trades Uh, to implement. Uh, I got a new Twitter account. Go ahead and follow it. I'm posting now my uh, trades every three days, every five day SPX trades. Uh, Again, I'm knocking them out the park. So look out for those trades. Shout out to all you humble traders for this beautiful new $2,000 SLR. I told you guys the stock is crap. ABML, I told you the stock is crap. And again, taking the short which resulted in this beautiful new camera. And your boy got the stimulus payment in the checking account today. So, you know, got a huge check from the market and a big check from Uncle Sam. So I appreciate that, man. Stay tuned. There's a lot more good game to come.